our police oh, people here looking after us. Yeah. 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 You go back there and we'll put up here. Look, it's about sight lines, you know, an entrance is so important, so is an exit. Thank you, that's great. Well done. Now, look, isn't it good to be up here at the Parliament uh, on here? Because this is the biggest stage in the world. Um, because up here, of course, apparently, <laughs> apparently, things get done. Decisions get made and possibly stupid decisions can be overturned. horses behind me, I won't get too excited. Now, because they're flighty and jittery animals. Who, what's that annoying sound going off? Someone turn off their speakerphone. Someone Thank turn you. off their speakerphone. Well done, you. Okay, oh, our first speaker. Oh, <laughs> there you go, can't hear. Getting old, 42. Move on. Now, we're here today to uh, have uh, listened to some people who actually work up here and know a few things. Please welcome from uh, the Greens, and who doesn't love the Greens on any occasion? Please welcome from the Greens, Sue Pennycue. <laughs> Julia, you're much taller than me, it seems. Uh, thank you all for coming today. I think um, we all know that uh, Melbourne in Victoria has a reputation for being Australia's art capital. Yeah. And, and well deserved too. Um, Melbourne and Victoria have the reputation of being Victor Australia's sports capital as well. And the two aren't mutually exclusive. But what we've got here today is uh, an issue about the funding of the VCA, which is really at the crux of this matter. Certainly when the uh, VCA was amalgamated with Melbourne University back in 2006, before I was in the parliament here, a promise was made by the government that the VCA would retain its uniqueness. It would, take, it would retain its preeminent role in the education of performing and visual arts students in Victoria and in Australia for that matter. Now that was a promise that the government made. The Arts Minister Linkowski said it, the Premier said it. The government made that commitment to you as students, to the staff of the VCA, to past, and, uh, past students and staff and to the people of Victoria who support the arts. Now, that promise looks like it's in danger of going the way of many promises that we've seen in the past. And that's why you're all here. And that's why I'm here. I have raised the issue in the parliament. I have sent questions to the minister about what she's going to do to keep her word. No wonder people get annoyed with governments when they make these promises. They put through a law in the parliament, which they did two years ago or three years ago, and they said, don't worry, everything will be okay. Well, it doesn't look like everything's going to be okay. So it's good that you're here today, uh, making your voices heard, and you still need to keep up the pressure. Because I believe it still can be fixed. It still can be fixed. government, the Premier and the Minister for Arts, to take up your cause, to get to find some money from the arts budget, to speak to their federal colleagues about the federal arts budget. VCA, the VCA is, has a proud history and it should have a proud future. And that's what we're here for. And uh, I'm sure all the police people who are helping us here today are fans of the arts too. Thank you. Well, Sue, uh, absolutely right. Uh, please don't go and see a film or enjoy some kind of arts if you don't think you should be here to support it.